Hi, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at the HCF, which is the highest common factor, and the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple of a group of numbers. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. Um, if you also have a look at the rest of the playlist, there are some word problems that relate to both HCF and LCM as well. I hope they're useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this video we're looking at working out highest common factor and lowest common multiple of series of numbers. Okay, so uh, one of the questions that you might come across is it says something like write 210 as a product of its prime factors. And what we're actually doing here is we're working out the factors of 210. And product really just means multiply. So the most common way of doing this is actually to use a factor tree. So what we do is we say, well, here's 210. Now, the way I do it is I would always say, actually, I want the lowest number that will divide into 210, which is going to be Two, and then I put a circle around it because actually two is a prime number and it's also a factor of 210 because it divides into 210 and it's two times 105. Okay, now two won't go into 105 because it's an odd number, but actually three will. Okay, so three will go into 105 and that's going to go 35 times. Okay, now you'll notice again, I circled the three because it's a prime number and it's a factor. Okay, so 35, well, two numbers that divide into 35, of which actually both of them are prime numbers, is going to be 5 and 7. Okay, so if I want to write 210 as the product of its prime factors, what we mean is, is we're writing 210 equals 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Okay, so product is multiply. The prime factors are these numbers, okay, and we're writing 210 as 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now, if you want to check that, you could say 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is going to be 30, and 30 times 7 is going to be 210. And that's actually the answer to this particular question. So the principle of using factor trees holds true then for working through pretty much everything else within this question paper. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions. You can also download the question paper directly from the website 3 Minute Maths. OK, so the highest common factor of 42 and 98. Well, let's just start with factor trees. So I'll start with 42 and again, I'm going to do 2 and 21 and then I'm going to say, well, actually, that's going to be 3 and 7. OK, and then 98. Well, once again, I'm going to do 2 and that's going to give me 49 and then I've got 7 and 7. So. Um, that's the way I do it. I think it's much easier for me to start with two or three on this side and kind of work down with very small numbers. And you'll see when we do the harder questions or the longer questions towards the end of this worksheet, it actually makes a lot of sense to kind of do it that way if you can. OK, so one of the common ways now in which to find out the highest common factor is to use something called a Venn diagram, which just basically is a representation of what it is we've actually um, been calculating. And what we can say is we've got 42 and we've got 98. And if we look at our um, prime factors here, the prime factors that we have in common are 2, so we can pop those in the middle, and 7, so we can also put that in the middle. Okay, Anything that's left goes into its respective circle. So 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. We haven't used 3, so we're going to pop that into there. And with 98, I've got 2 times 7 times another 7, so that will go into there. Now, if we're working out the highest common factor, it's basically the number numbers in the middle which are common so it's 2 times 7 which is going to be 14 and that would be the answer to this question 
And the big advantage with doing this then is if we want to work out the lowest common multiple of the two numbers, well, actually, we can just copy it. Um, or um, I've, I've sort of cheated a little bit. I've said this is two separate questions, but, you know, in reality, you'd probably have um, part A and part B, something like that. So I've got two, seven, three and seven. Now, the LCM is all of the numbers multiplied together. So I'm going to put them in ascending order I'm going to write them as 2 times 3 times 7 times 7 now you might use a calculator for this I would say very typically these are non calculator questions okay but just for the purposes of this video um, I'm not going to show the actual calculations uh, because otherwise it's just a it's a bit of a distraction so we're just going to actually write that as 294 which is the LCM of 42 and 98. Okay, so that principle now holds true. Let's move on to looking at uh, three numbers where we're being asked to find the HCF and the LCM of them, but we're going to use the same principle. Actually, what we're going to do is firstly, we're going to work out the factor trees for 15, uh, then 24, and then 27. So 15, well, that's only going to be 3 and 5 because both of those are prime numbers. OK, so let's look then at uh, 24. Well, 24, again, I'm going to start with 2. It's going to give me 12. 2 again, that's going to give me 6. 2 again, and that's going to give me 3. OK, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. OK, now while I'm doing this, what I sometimes do is I kind of just check it. And what I would be doing is saying 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 3 is 24. So that must be correct. OK, let's have a look then at the final number, which is 27. And again, I know 2 doesn't go into it, but 3 does. So 3 times 9 and then 3 times Three. OK, so again, 27 is 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 3 is 27. So let's now put that into one of our Venn diagrams. And again, I'm just going to use um, kind of hopefully I can draw these circles a little bit better. I'm not great at doing them on the video, to be honest. Uh, I'm not great at doing the full stop. Um, but, you know, we'll give it a go. So we've got 15, we've got 24 and we've got 27. So let's look at the numbers which are common. Well, actually, looking at our tree diagrams here, there's only one number, which is three, which is common to all three numbers. So that's going to go in the middle there. OK, then let's look at 15. Well, five isn't, doesn't feature in any of those, so I'm going to put that on its own. OK, then I'm going to look at 24. And again, two is just 24 or in the 24 group. OK, but it doesn't feature in any of the others. And then 27. Well, again, the threes are just in the set for 27. OK, so what have I got? Well, um, I can read it now directly from the Venn diagram. The HCF is going to be the number right in the middle there, which is three. And that would be the answer as simple as that to that particular question. Let's look then at the lowest common multiple. Well, the lowest common multiple is all of these numbers multiplied together. So just for the purposes of um, calculation, also demonstration, I'm not going to copy that onto here, but I'm basically going to say that the LCM is these numbers all multiplied together, and I'm going to write them in ascending order. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. So I've got 3 lots of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 3 lots of 3, 3 to the power of 3, and then a 5. And I do see some people writing this, and it's perfectly fine to do it um, as something like 2 cubed multiplied by 3 cubed multiplied by 5. That's absolutely fine if you want to do that. When you finish the actual calculation itself, you'll work out that the LCM equals 1080 and that would be the answer to that particular question okay hopefully that's all right for you let's
let's move on to the next one. So the next one is we're actually told the prime factors. And you'll notice I wrote this here. And I did that deliberately because it just hopefully it explains what's going on here. So if I look at the next question, what we basically mean is that 3,240 is 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2, multiplied by 3 to the 4, multiplied by 5. OK, and then 3,780, there's big numbers here, is 2 squared, so 2 times 2, uh, and 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, and then a 5 and a 7. OK, now I have drawn them one above the other fairly deliberately because it just makes my life a little bit easier when I'm trying to read it to work out the HCF and the LCM using the Venn diagram. Now it does need to be a relatively big Venn diagram and I would caution you to use um, as much of the paper as you possibly can when you're doing these things. I'm terribly sorry about my circles. They're not fantastic, but hopefully you'll get the idea. So let's look at the numbers which are common. In other words, the numbers that are going to go in the middle here for 3240 and 3780. OK, well, the first one is going to be 2. And then the second one is also going to be 2. And then the third one is going to be 3 and 3. Now, you'll see that actually, rather than doing this one and this one, I've done this one and this one. Now, I'm not sure that's a particularly good idea. I'm actually going to change that because I notice that I've got another two sets of three. So I've actually got three sets of three as common. There's one, two there, three there, and one, two, three there. And I've also got fives that are common. Oh my gosh. So I needed quite a bit of space in there in the middle to be able to write the numbers. Well, what have I got left? I've now got 3240, and you'll notice I've got a two there, which I haven't actually crossed out. And also, um, OK, let's have a look then. I've got a 3 here, which I haven't crossed out as well. So 3240, I've got a 2 and a 3. OK, so let's have a look then and I'll get rid of those two. OK, and then the last one, I've got 3780. Well, I've got a 7 there that hasn't been crossed out. So you do need to be very, very methodical when you're working these out. OK, so let's have a look then at the HCF. Well, the HCF is going to be all the numbers in the middle multiplied together. Now, again, I'm going to do these in ascending order. It just makes it a little bit easier to see, hopefully. Um, I'm going to get uh, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. OK, and again, you might have a calculator or you might this might be non-calculator. But however you work that out, you should get 540. OK, and that would be the HCF. The LCM is going to be all of these numbers multiplied together. Now, because I know I've multiplied these together in the middle and I know they come out to 540, I can just make that 540 multiplied by the three numbers that are left, which is 2 times 3 times 7. And that's going to give me the grand number of 22,000. 680 and that's the end of that particular question okay so hopefully that's been useful to you please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything also uh, have a look in the rest of the playlist where i'm looking at lcm word problems okay and these are probably a little bit more popular on the gcse paper so it's well worthwhile having a look at the video please do like the video it's always much appreciated and i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.